Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Extra. Today we're talking about the rubber check race, the perennial favorite at the Scottsbluff County Fair, going to be the 36th annual coming up this year. And I have organizer Mike Leonard with me today. Thank you very much for joining us Thank you, on Scott. News Extra. Um, you know, putting something like this together, it's your fourth year for you and Rebecca, your wife. Um, as far as organizing something like this, um, it has to be kind of daunting a little bit. It is. Um, we have roughly 30 volunteers that come and help us put this event on. We have uh, roughly 16 sponsors of this event that obviously promote and help us move this event. Um, the event sells out usually in one day. At least the grandstands, the grandstands sell out in yeah. one day. Um, there are still some overflow tickets available. Um, but they usually go pretty fast mm -hmm. uh, within a few days of the event. Um, it's been a great event. It's been going. This will be the 36th year. Um, it com it's comprised of <clears throat> four team members per team, two horse riders, an ATV rider, and a wheelbarrow pusher. It's a baton race, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just been tremendously popular since since it started. Oh, yeah. And it started as a fill-in. As a fill-in, yeah, that's right. And now it's pretty much the uh, one of the main events for the Scottsbluff County Fair. Now, how did, how did the uh, the regimen come about with um, the race starting off on on horseback with you know two different uh, horseback riders and then the ATV and then the the wheelbarrow? How did that uh, portion of it come about? Because obviously there could be different things you could do in a relay race. But in this case, this is the, the, the way it goes. Yes. Well, Dallas Larson, the late Dallas Larson, feedlot operator from North Scottsbluff, he was the one that came up with the event. And uh, 1983 was the first year. And the event started, that's how it started. And it's just always worked. Um, the first horse rider makes a full circle, hands off the baton at a full run from horse to horse to the second horse rider. Second horse rider makes a, <clears throat> a full lap, hand, jumps off, runs roughly 50 yards, hands off the baton to the ATV rider. The mm -hmm. ATV rider runs a full lap and a half, parks the ATV in a designated area, gets off the ATV, gets in the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow pushes him roughly 50 yards across the finish line with baton in hand, and that's the end of the race. It sounds crazy, but it's an <laughs> extremely popular event and a so. lot of fun. Yeah, it very much is yep. very much so. And of course, uh, that is the uh, penultimate uh, event that happens at the Scottsbluff County Fair, the one that always sells out and uh, generates certainly the most interest among people in the in and around the uh, Scottsbluff County area. Um, and of course, it's coming up. It'll be on, on Friday night this year again for the second time. Yes, August 2nd. Yep. Seven o'clock. Starting at seven o'clock. And of course, uh, starting off with uh, heats to uh, get placings in the yep. in the the time the timed heats are first and then uh we take the top eight teams to the uh finals and then it whittles down from there and there's a whole lot more to the uh, rubber check race than even that and we'll be right back on news extra to talk about that in just a moment and we're back on news extra and we're talking about the 36th annual rubber check race that'll be taking place during the scottsville county fair coming up um august uh, Third? Second. Second. Okay, I couldn't remember my calendar right off the top of my head. I have Mike Leonard, one of the organizers, along with his wife, uh, who was with me here today in studio. Again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, when it comes to putting together a team that's going to take part in this, um, you know, it, it, a lot of times it'll be uh, people from outside of the, of the area. You do have a lot of teams locally that are from farms and ranches uh, that put together a team to, to take part in this. Yes, yes. And a lot, of, a lot of those teams are all sponsored by local businesses and obviously businesses in the Goshen County area. Um, uh, we, had a, we had a team that came out of uh, Sioux County a couple years ago, came in, never ran the event and won it. Yeah. And, but it's, uh, when Dallas came up with this, he wanted to get local people involved, farmers, ranchers, business people, and they participated, but also the sponsorship for a lot of the teams, most of the teams are businesses sure, and uh, farms and ranches also. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, uh, the, the interesting part in this case is that the actual deadline for having a team take part is literally the night before. Yes. <laughs> we never know until the night before actually how many teams we're going to have. So 
People ask me all the time, how many teams are we going to have? I don't know till the night before. That's the deadline is Thursday night to get your entry forms in. So if anybody's interested, that's the deadline. Wow. All they have to do is contact me. Oh, wow. And, and of course, uh, there are a lot of teams that will... Boy, they'll be practicing during the during the spring and the summer, and and working toward uh, hopefully having the fastest times in in, in each of the different uh, segments of the of the uh, race, and then of course the fastest overall times. Yes, so exactly. Well. Yep. So, uh, and and how does the scoring work out? Because a lot of people don't necessarily understand. Well, the scoring, it all like I said, it starts with the time trials. Sure. We take the top eight teams to the finals, and then the finals, it's elimination from there. And, you know, the, we pay top five places, and mm. there is, there's, you know, a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice purse, pretty nice so purse that, that we pay out. Uh, first place makes over $3,000. Wow, that's and, not bad. And uh, then also the time trials we pay for the fastest times mm -hmm. per, per individual event. Sure, so, per, di per leg of the, of the relay. Exactly. Yeah. So th there is, you know, some money at stake for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, and of course, bragging rights, which which always uh, is something that uh, people definitely yeah. like to be able to say, "Hey, our team won the rubber check race this year." Yeah. So. And then not only that, we started four years ago. The winning teams get a belt buckle. Buckles, Each yeah. individual gets a belt buckle. Yeah, the championship, and they're nice belt buckles. Yeah, and very a very neat addition to uh, the rubber check race. Yes. And, and so, of course, if you do happen to have a team that you're still thinking of getting of taking part in the rubber check race this year uh time's going to be running a little short but you do have until that night before yes. to uh put in your put in your entry and, and as far as the entry fees for the teams is there a, a fee for it's the fifty dollars okay it's for 50. the entry fee okay yep. so not not expensive at all no. uh, by uh, any stretch of the imagination no and of course when it comes to tickets um the grandstand obviously already sold out with the reserved seating yes but there is some there's usually a little bit of seating that is available on, mm -hmm. on an unreserved basis right yes Okay. Overflow tickets. There'll be some available. Yes. Pretty much the general attendance overflow yes. tickets that, that will be available. Yeah. Um, so that is the rubber check race that is coming up August 2nd during the Scottsbluff County Fair, the perennial favorite for everybody. And, uh, of course, uh, we'll be out there uh, covering that as well. And, and, and Mike, you know, putting something like that together, um, certainly everybody appreciates the hard work that both you and uh, yeah. your wife have to put into it. We're both very proud to be uh, in charge of it. It's a, it's a great event and uh, it's, it, it's a lot of work, but um, we're both very proud to be a part of it. It's going to be a whole lot of fun coming up August 2nd. Mike, thank you very much for joining us on News Extra today. Thank you.